So there's a few things that I wanted just to clear up about yesterday's video. This project is not just about me getting fit again, although that's going to be a big chunk of it. It's just going to be daily vlogs and bringing you stuff that I'm doing in life. If I sound a bit croaky, it's because it's, I don't know, 8 o'clock. And whilst that's not really early for a lot of people, um, when you stay up until like, it's early. About to go for a walk. These are these little pills here. They are no-dose tablets because I don't drink coffee or tea. Um, so I don't get my caffeine that way. Sometimes you'll see me with an energy drink. That's something that I want to cut out. Even though they're no sugar ones, all those acids and stuff in there, they they start to churn my guts, so. It's one of those steps where you've just got to evolve and um, and cut out those bad things. Cheers. <sighs> oh, you want to know what the stuff that looked like urine was? Harry Lemon, with that done, let's get the headphones and go for a walk. These are the headphones I use when I go for a walk. They are Beats by Dre and I honestly can't remember when exactly it was when I got them. I know Tim Lee, a friend of mine, bought them for me from Macy's in New York City. I'm guessing maybe 210, 211, and now the cup's coming off, but I believe you can buy replacement ones of them, which is excellent because the sound is still great. The only other pair of headphones that I've really enjoyed the sound of over-ear ones, which I prefer, is the Bose ones, the noise cancelling, which are just incredible. Sennheiser is also good. There's a pair of Sony's that I also enjoy and I would happily buy another pair of Beats. I think they're great. Um, the studio ones especially. I'll probably get Bluetooth ones next time around. Rest assured that I absolutely stretch every morning before I go for this walk because um, in the past when I've played cricket I've done a hammy, I've done a calf, all from really just not stretching. So now um, I spent a good five to 10 minutes just sort of stretching the legs and ankles and rotating them and getting them all sorted before I take off. The other thing is, even though it's like um, pretty overcast, I always wear my sunglasses when I go for a walk. And I was thinking about it yesterday because it was pretty overcast then. I didn't really need to wear them, but with my headphones on and my sunglasses on when I'm on a walk, it feels like I'm in my own little world. It feels like I'm disconnected in a way and I can think and focus. I don't really have to make eye contact with anyone, even though you do and you nod and you say good morning and things like that, but I don't know, it's a weird thing. It feels really weird going for a walk without them. I'm listening to Hardwired to Self Destruct by Metallica, the new album. Um, I think it's great got onto the bonus disc, a whole bunch of live tunes, old school live tunes, which is excellent. So that's what I'm listening to. I'm not going to lie, the outside of my um, shins, like, a little stiff. I've only been walking for a couple of days. I'm sure that'll get better. Four and a half k's in, and Metallica hardwired to self-destruct finished. Random. It picked up uh, Fear Factory Edge Crusher. <laughs> I tell you what, if ever you're getting tired on a walk and you need some, uh, you know, kick in the ass, get some Fear Factory on. Shout out to Jen and Dino. This has usually got banana in it as well, but they're not ripe enough yet. So it's mango, vanilla yogurt, a touch of coconut, cinnamon, and uh, ice and water. And that's it. Bloody beautiful. That's New Caledonia. Oh, so is that. There's too much light behind me, isn't there? I've really got to set up a spare room to be a proper place where I can do a piece to camera. Cause this, let's try something else. 
So I got back from the walk, it was a good walk. Walked a bit further, walked a bit faster. Excellent, I imagine that will only improve as I keep going on with this. Uh, a couple of things I wanted to talk about were, yesterday I mentioned the mental block when you're a, a fat person trying to dispose of weight. Um, a friend of mine, Jack the Bear said, don't call it weight loss because that means you're looking for it again. Um, call it weight release. And I like that. It's a little bit hippie, but I like it. One of those mental blocks is that if you spend a lot of time on Facebook like I do and like a lot of people do, the things that you get assimilated with by your friends can really be a mental block for this weight release. Um, and for me, I always get tagged in you know, burger places with massive burgers or big steaks or eating challenges. And yeah, I love all that stuff. I did, but I've got to stop it. And when you see that, you kind of get a picture of how other people see you. Um, and you never really see yourself like other people will. You can be your own worst critic, but you don't, you can't see yourself through someone else's eyes. So if they see you as this big fat food challenge taking, binge drinking person, then that's probably who you are. So that's what I've got to change. That's the perception that needs to change. And if other people see that in me, then I'll start to see that in me. That was pretty heavy. Probably doesn't help that you can see a giant four litre tipper of Jim Beam in the background that's empty. As I mentioned earlier on, this isn't just going to be about me trying to shed kilos. This is gonna be about day-to-day -day stuff, venting. You know, I started those thinking with Higo videos which a lot of people like. So I'm going to incorporate them into a more day-to-day -day thing, that's all. And yes, I will set up a proper area to do pieces to camera where it's not shaky and stuff like that. I've got to buy a few things, like a tripod. Okay, that's all I've really got to buy. So I thought I'd try something different today on the way to work, and that is by having the GoPro stuck to my dash. Um, and just looking at it from where I'm sitting, a little bit of vibration because the dash you know, it's obviously the crash pad is made from foam, so you just get a little bit of shaking there, and I think it would probably work better if it's stuck to the window. Uh, but I'm not going to use this all the time, so this is just a test, really. Australia proud, mate. Hey, to get yourself on the short list, people to take note. The very best announcer in Australia works at Triple M uh, in Melbourne. Your workplace, fingers crossed. All right, we are going to play a song from Hardwired to Self Destruct. Turn it up. This is Atlas Rise, new rock from Metallica. Triple M. Dangerous Dave, people. Dangerous Dave. All right, this has been one of my regular lunches for a long time. Uh, definitely a bonus. It's now two dollars fifty. It's probably out of date. Second of December. Oh no, almost out of date. Um, but very filling. The old uh, Cole Caesar, especially when you throw in a couple of uh, Serena tuners. The basil infused ones, very very nice. You know how you. You know how you think of something and you go, I must remember to talk about that later on. And then you forget. That's what happened to me today. When I got back from my walk, I mentioned um, the bit about the uh, being tagged in Facebook posts and things like that. But there was two other things. Two. I cannot, for the life of me, remember what they were. Let Top Place bring your roof back to life. Topplace.com.au The Monash Freeway still struggling. City bound from Turek. Thank you very much, mate. Uh, Mickey's on the phone with just an updated traffic on the Eastern Freeway.
Best classics in New Rock on 105.1 Melbourne's Triple M with Higo. You know, there's a lot of people excited for Valentine's Day next year. Not because they're in a romantic relationship, no. Because Guns N' Roses are playing at the Triple MCG. And what started with just talks of doing Coachella turned into something much more. But did Duff McKagan expect it? I don't know that I thought too much about it how far ahead. It was just really cool to play some of that music with the guys I was playing it with. Man, it's going to be a special day. Duff, Slash, Axel and the others. Happening for Triple M at the Triple MCG. Feb 14. Here's November rain. Triple M. Came home to a package today in a nice post pack. I've already opened this but I'll just uh, I just think this packaging is fantastic so I wanted to share this with you. As you just uh, so I, should, I should have actually put this on a tripod, but anyway, it slides out like this. It's very nice packaging. What? How am I going to do this? I really should have thought this through, because you can't really do it. Anyway, you get the idea. Look at that. Nice and embossed. Very nice. Lift the lid. Couple of extra bands there, the warranty card, and the Kelowna watch. Very, very, oh, I think I'm just gonna get heaps of, is that, there we go, is that focusing? Beautiful timepiece from Telona. You definitely gotta check them out online. I'll put the link to their website in the um, description of this video below, so make sure you check them out. They're Australian, which is excellent, which is why I've, um, really gone after one of these. Uh, I can't thank the guys enough. I think they look fantastic. They are super stylish and super affordable as well. So I think what this is called is just a chopped salad. Whereas you just grab everything, you chop it and you throw it in. Cucumber, capsicum, capsicum. A little bit of everything, chuck it in there. And there it is. Well, I reckon that might be it for today. Um, <clears throat> thanks very much for tuning in to episode two. As always, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on Twitter as well. They're all popping up all over the screen now. Uh, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.